Amen. 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 This Amen. is the day that the Lord has made. As David said, I will rejoice and be glad. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing, knowing that the Lord, he is God. For it is he that has made us, and not we ourselves. We are his people, and the sheep of his pastures. Yes. We enter his gates with thanksgiving, and we come into his courts with praise. praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Is the highest praise I know. That yes. everything that has breath, praise the Lord. Praise Hallelujah. the Lord. Be thankful unto him. And bless his name. Mm -hmm. For the Lord is good, his mercy is everlasting, and his truth endures to oh, all Jim generations. Jim. Look, somebody let them know that means you. That means you. That means you. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. So we thank God, amen, for the day that he has made. Amen. For we know that weeping may endure for a night, but joy, but joy comes amen. in the morning. Hallelujah. So we thank God for another day's journey, another day that we have not seen. That we will not see again. Amen. 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 Yesterday is history. Tomorrow is a mystery. Today is a gift from God. Therefore, Hallelujah. The present. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So we thank God for the gift of another day to be glad about. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Another day for Jesus. Another day to make a choice to rejoice. Come on. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So we do thank God for these that are here. At the Holy Day Inn Express, 12801 South 71 Highway in Grandview, Missouri. Open door ministries where Jesus is the door. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus said, I am the door for the sheep, and all that enter by me will be safe and find pasture. He said, the thief come but for to steal, to kill, and to destroy. But I am come that they may have life. And, and that, that more abundantly. Come Praise on. God. Praise God. So we want to welcome you to Open Door Ministry, a faith-based ministry where you matter, people matter. Focuses on the whole body, amen, that's to hold the entire body of Christ and these earthen vessels that we walk in, amen. Hallelujah. And Jesus is the door. So we are blessed coming in and, and going out. out. Come on. We walk by faith and not by sight. We are the head and not the tail. We are filled, led, and walked by the Spirit of God. Come on. We let no corrupt communication come out of our mouths each and every day. For we speak words of life and words that edify the body of Christ. Christ. We are chosen by God. We're talking about the believer right now. And co-heirs with Jesus Christ. For a new creation in Jesus Christ. Let the church say amen. 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 And amen. Hallelujah. And thank God for these that are here, for those that are yet tuning in via social media. Amen. And those that will, may see it later on, uh, again, uh, so on social media through YouTube, Open Door Ministries KC. So we do thank God. Yes, and, Lord. Uh, again, this is the Lord's doing. And we know that Jesus, our Lord and Savior, said he will not come back until the gospel has been preached in all four corners of the earth. And with the satellites and the social media and all the things that we have and the information and technology age. It is evident that each and every day we are drawing closer amen. to our Lord and Savior's return than when we first believed. So we thank God, amen, as he said, watch, pray, and be ready. That's what he so said. we do. He said, if my people <coughs> who are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray, seek my face, turn from their wicked ways, he said, then will I hear from heaven, forgive their sins, and heal the land. Come on. So we thank you right now, Father God, for your word says that you are not slack as men count slack, that you are not slowful, but you are patient and long-suffering, desiring that all men will be saved and come to the knowledge of the truth. Yes. We recognize our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ as the way, come on. the truth, and the life. Hallelujah. But you said in your word we should pray for kings and priests and all who are in authority, that we may live a quiet and peaceable life true godliness and holiness. So, Father God, we lift up the leaders all around the world, Father God, from the heads of state, Father God, and all those that fall in line that fall under, Father God, anyone that finds themselves in a position of authority, we pray right now, Father God, that they recognize you as the ultimate authority. Hallelujah. We all serve heartily as unto you, unto the Lord, Hallelujah. not unto men. So we thank you right now, Father God. Yes. We ask you to forgive us for our trespasses, our thoughts, our words, our deeds, the things that we do that are not pleasing in your eyesight. But 
you said in your word, ask it shall be given, seek it shall find, knock and the door shall be open. So we continue to pray for peace, Father God, which is the Shalom of God, Jehovah Shalom, the God of peace, which represents nothing missing, nothing broken. So we thank you right now, Father God. We thank you that we know you as a part of our sin. Mm. We continue to pray for a spirit of unity. We continue to pray for a bond of peace. We thank you even for the prayer that you gave us to pray. Yes. We come together as one. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Yes. And Lord Jesus, you said wherever we come together in your name, you said there am I in the midst. So as we come together in the spirit of unity, the bond, the glue of peace, we pray the prayer that you gave us to pray. Let us pray together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. 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 Father God, we thank you for all those who recognize you as a part of our sin. And we just thank you right now, Father God, for you said enter your gates with thanksgiving, your course with praise. So we're forever thankful, we're yeah. forever grateful, Father God, for the believers. Amen. As we come, amen, that the believers, the saints of God will be back. edified, that Father God, you will be glorified, yeah. and that the devil would be terrified. terrified. So we thank you right now, Father God, for these that recognize that you can dwell right here in this place, Father God. And we thank you for those that recognize that they will tune in on social media or whether they hear the message today or whether they hear the message in the in the future, Father God. For we know that faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. And we thank you for you told us that your word will not come back to you void or without results, but it will do what you send it out to do and prosper. And the thing were to you sent it. So yes. we know that you sent your word that we might prosper. You said the thoughts you think towards us, the thought of peace and not evil, to give us a future and expect it in a future and a hope. Plans to prosper us. And we thank you right now. Yes. And you said you, you want us to prosper and be in good health even as our souls prosper. Yes. So we come on today, Father God, again to take up the bread of life. So we Thank God for the messenger that would deliver the bread of life on today. And we pray that we would have ears with all here, that your Holy Spirit is saying to the church on today and each and every day. As David said, I will bless the Lord at all times. times. His praises shall continue to be in my mind. My soul shall make her boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear the love and be glad. Oh, magnify the Lord with me. Hallelujah. Taste and see. That the Lord, Lord is good. Amen. Blessed is the man who trusts in the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. So without further ado, this being the fourth Sunday of the month of March, day 27, year of our Lord, 2022, I introduce to some and present to others our very own Reverend Gary L. Johnson. Let the church say amen. 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 And amen. Hallelujah. 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 Yeah, 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 yeah. I will bless the Lord at all times, and his praise shall continue to be in my mouth. The humble shall hear thereof and be made glad. Come on and bless the Lord with me. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Lord. Amen. And good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Open door. Good morning to the shepherd of this house. The great pastor, Rufus Y. James Senior. To our first lady, Minister Patricia James. To my lovely wife, Sister Arnetta Johnson. And always the most important people to show up. Amen. The saints of God. Amen. I thank God for another opportunity to stand before you on this morning. I do not take it for granted. As I, sometimes I don't know if I'm reminding y'all or I'm reminding myself, but I don't take this for granted. I thank God.
God for another day's journey. Yeah. And uh, let me go before him in prayer. Father God, I thank you. Thank you, Lord. I thank you for this day, Lord, and these your sheep, Father God. I thank you for those that are tuning in live on conference call. I thank you for the saints that are looking on Facebook, Father God, in the name of Jesus. But I pray for this earthly realm, Father God. I pray for each and every child of God, no matter where they're located, Father God. As I pray for healing. Yes. And I pray for deliverance, Father God, in yes. this earthly realm, Father God. Lord, I pray for the city of Kansas City, yes. in the name of Jesus. I pray for my brothers and sisters in Ukraine, Father God, on this morning, Father God. I plead the blood of the Lamb over them, Lord. And Lord, I'm praying for all of those that shouted out this early this morning or late last night. Pray for me, Lord. I know not what they need or what they're in need of, but you do, Father God. So I pray your hands up on them, Father God. Because I know that when your word goes out, it does not return to you, Lord, Father God. And Lord, I know that any words you said, I ask and it shall be given. So we come this morning asking for healing. Yes. Healing in the hospitals on this morning, yes. Father God. Healing in our nursing homes, Father God. Yes. In our schoolhouses, Father God. Yes. Lord, wherever there's a child of God, Lord, walk through Israel on this morning and touch and heal in the name of Jesus. If we just want to come before you to lift up the name of Jesus on this morning, Father God. Father God, I ask that you completely remove this vessel, Father God, and fill me with your Holy Spirit, Father God. Lord, I need you to speak through me and speak for me, Father God. As I pray that the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight. And this I pray and this I ask, Lord, on this morning. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. 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 I said it is a blessing, Amen. a blessing to be back in the house of the Lord. Amen. Amen. I don't know how y'all look at it, but any time that my feet can get through that door, I yes. feel that I'm going yes. to receive something. Yes. Because I'm in expectance. Amen. I stay in expectance because I serve that kind of God. Amen. The kind of God that asks, that said, he will do Yes. What we ask him. Amen. So why should not stay and expect us? Amen. And I just basically, I thank God this morning for each and every one of you. Each and every one of you on Facebook Live. Each and every one to tune in on the conference call, Father God. But I do believe, as Pastor said, and that's not, that's something I believe in my spirit, man, that there is truly a blessing yeah. in the presence. Right. Hallelujah. To get to the house of God. Amen. Forsake not the assembly of the saints. It's a good place to be this morning. Amen. 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 I'm going to be uh, coming out of Deuteronomy this morning. And I need y'all to pray with me. Pray for me this morning. Deuteronomy 28. Uh, And if I had a topic, I guess if I had a title, as I read these scriptures over the weekend and last week, because I told you, it's always the spirit that drops what I'm going to do on Sunday in my spirit. And uh, if I had a title, it would be, if you do this, if you do this, because as we're going to look at these 14 scriptures this morning, you'll see that it's basically asking us or telling us what God wants us to do. Mm -hmm. So, and I'm a firm believer in the word of God, as I said, I believe that if we do what he's asking of us and required of us, mm -hmm. and it'll come to pass. Yes. Because he's a faithful God. Yes, he That's what we have to never lose track of. Never. That God is faithful. Yes, he's faithful. Yes. Thank you. His word is true. Yes. Yes. So here, and, 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 and I'm coming out of New Living. And uh, it says, uh, the title of the New Living for uh, chapter 28 and 
in Deuteronomy, it says, blessing for obedience. Mm -hmm. as, you, as you know, I said, my subtitle for this morning is, if you do this. So evidently, there's blessings in obedience. So if we do what the Lord is asking us to do, we can't go wrong. Oh, yeah. That's how I look at I me. Mean, and, and I ain't the wisest guy, but I truly believe if we do what God is asking or requirements for what God has for us, great things will take place in our life. Oh, we'll see people heal. We'll see people deliver. Yeah. And as believers, that should be what you want to see. Amen. We want to see people heal. Oh, yeah. We want to love God as we should love God. Amen. Make him first in our life. Yeah. And I think everything else will line up. Yeah. And uh, verse 1 in uh, chapter 28 says, if, and, and, and walk with me in the spirit, God, because I had to walk in the spirit for this. It says, if you, if you mm -hmm. fully obey the Lord your God, and carefully keep all his commands that I'm giving you today. Yeah. The Lord your God will set you high above all the nations of the world. Yeah. Mm. Verse 2 says, you will experience all these blessings if you obey the Lord your God. If you just do this, yeah. come on, walk with me for just a minute mm -hmm. in the spirit. Because there's something about doing what God said. And as I read that first one, that's what I was telling Pastor Pray for you this morning. Because there's so much in those first two verses that pertains to this earthly realm. Amen. To what's going on in the world we live in right now. And I've seen in the commentary where one commentary wrote that it wasn't that God thought we was going to pull, pull this off, what he's asking. Mm -hmm. But we serve a God of excellence. Mm -hmm. See, God couldn't ask less than who he is. But mm -hmm. we know he created the end before the beginning. So God knew that a whole lot of people wasn't going to pull off what he was asking here. Or what he sent Moses to say to the people. But him being who he is, he can only expect the best. So it opens up and uh, it says, if you fully obey the Lord, your God, carefully keep all his commands that I'm giving you today. And I know the Christian first hollers out that ain't none of us perfect. That we all trying to get right. And God understands that. But he also wants you to carefully keep commands that I'm giving you today. The Lord your God will set you high above all nations of the world. It seems like our country that we live in is falling down, doesn't it? This once powerful country that everyone had fear for and respect for, that doesn't exist in our today world. And I was looking at this word, Bath, and I said, He said, above all nations of the world, are we in this country not doing what God is asking and expects of us? No. Think about this. Walk with me in the spirit. As you look at the world you live in on this morning also, yes. it says you will experience all these blessings if you obey the Lord your God. Yes. Hmm. Verse 3 says, your towns and your fields will be blessed. Hmm. We all want to be blessed. Yes. Yes. Think about that. Just think about that. We all want to be blessed. I mean, from the pool from here yes. to the parking lot. Yes. We all want to be blessed. Amen. And here, and, and Moses was telling them how to be blessed. It says, your town, your fields will be blessed. In other words, if you, if you want to, if you walk up right, yeah. he 
he'll bless all of them. Everything you touch, he'll bless. But like I said, we serve an all-knowing God also. Well. And in saying that, he knows what's going on in this earthly realm. Yeah. So let's keep it in proper perspective. We're striving to be right. Yeah. But as believers, we have to strive for perfection. Yeah. I'm not trying to put too much on me or too much on you this morning. But it amazes me of what his expectations are. Yeah. Didn't I say we're in expectance? Yeah. He's in expectance. Yeah. And his expectation for us is for us to obey. Yeah. To obey his word. Yeah. But yeah. that's the kind of God he is. Yeah. That along with obeying his word comes blessings that no man can give you. Mm-hmm. That no man can give you. Mm-hmm. I can't stand up for this morning and tell you that I'm going to take care of your town and your fields. Amen. Come on, Amen. walk with me in the spirit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like I say, this was a hard word. As I, as I got into it, more I got into it, 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 it was mind-blowing because of how it started. I told you that in verse 1 where it says, if you fully, fully. we lack in anger. Mm-hmm. It's something that the people of this world ain't doing right. Because mm-hmm. it said, if you fully obey the Lord, yes. your God. Your God. Huh. Hallelujah. Mm-hmm. It says, 4 says, your children, your crops will be blessed. Hmm. Hallelujah. And like I said, my title for you this morning was If You Do This. So, what's going on in our life to a great degree? Not all things, because things happen, because we live in this ugly world, because most of this ugly world ain't doing what the Lord would have us doing. But here, when he was addressing Moses, addressing Israel this morning, he was telling them, if you do this, if you be obedient, yeah, you. if you, you, see, let's take, let's, take, let's take it off this world. Because if we want to see this world better, we got to put it on us be to be better. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, and, and believe me, most of us don't want to walk with that. We like saying, I'm responsible for me. But if you look at this world, and this check down later is going to show you a little bit more about why I say that we're kind of responsible for the state of this world. All of us, the people of God, who claim to be the people of God. Here, uh, it says, the offsprings of your herds, flocks will be blessed. It's talking to the farmers there. Mm-hmm. The people that produce the food we eat, the meats we eat. Look at your world. Farmers are struggling. Crops are struggling. Why would you think that could be? Because remember what God promised. And he doesn't go back on his word. Even though this was to the saints of Israel... It's also now to the world, to the Amen. saints of God all over this world. Because right. whether y'all want to realize or not, we are all the seeds of Abraham now. Amen. And he's told Abraham, I'm going to bless your seeds. Amen. Something ain't right, y'all. Something ain't right. And I don't think it's God. Because there's too much going on in this world that ain't right. Mm-hmm. He said the offspring of your herds mm-hmm. and flocks will be yeah. blessed. Mm-hmm. The world's suffering and struggling in that now. Mm-hmm. We have shortage, shortage of food. <laughs> that ain't God. I think that's man's disobedience. 
it says, verse 5 says, your fruit baskets, bread boards will be blessed. Mm -hmm. He wants to bless everything. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Everything. We serve a God that just wants to bless us. Amen. Just wants to bless us. Mm -hmm. And 6 says, wherever you go, whatever you do, will be blessed. Okay, this is God speaking through Moses. Wherever you go, whatever you do, will be blessed. But see, we as Christians, we get happy with the good news. But go back to verse 1 again. It says if you fully Okay. Fully. God's not a half way God. Mm, not at all. That's where we get it twisted, I think. Mm -hmm. Help me, Holy Ghost. This, like I said, this might not be for nobody in here but for me. But we get it twisted sometimes. Mm -hmm. That we think we can have still. Mm -hmm. That's why I told you I love the opening of this text. It said fully. Fully. You should, I, I had to shout to myself, Pastor. Mm -hmm. Oh, Lord, help me. It didn't say I want you to be a little good. <laughs> or Sometimes. you can take a day off. Well, well. It, well, well. It, it, kinda, it, it checked me. Mm -hmm. I was checked in the first first. Well, well. I can tell you this morning, it took some energy for me to go on and do these first 14, the rest of them. But I was fully checked. It said fully. Yeah. And then he got to naming all the things that he'd do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If I could do what he asked me to do. Yeah. And I told you before, we, let me say me, because some of y'all might not have a problem with doing what people tell you to do. Sometimes I have a problem with telling what, what people tell me to do. But I ain't talking about people this morning either. Well, I'm talking about what God was asked yeah. for them to do. And he wanted them to fully <laughs> obey. And it said, and then and like I said, it says, wherever you go, whatever you do, you will be blessed. It's something about that. Hear that in the spirit. Whatever, wherever you go. That means you go shopping. If you go skating, well, if you're in the grocery store, mm -hmm. he got you. He got you. Oh. Thank you, Lord. We live in a world now where believers and supposed to be sold out saints are saying, I don't, I don't know about, I don't know about going over there. I don't know about. I don't like to be there too long. Come on. That word just says, wherever I go, I'm blessed. Wherever I go. So if you, and, and so and then it falls back on me then. If I'm worried about going someplace, yeah. I ain't probably doing all I should be doing for the Lord. Amen. Think about that. This is in the spirit. Just walk with me in the spirit. Because we all, and, and, and y'all wanted to hear this, we all come short of the glory of God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We all missing some stuff too, ain't we? Come on. Yeah. Think about that. Mm -hmm. We all come short of the glory of God. That makes all believers feel a little better about themselves. Mm -hmm. But when I seen that fully, come on. I seen some of my lack. Come mm -hmm. on. Why are you lacking some of the things you want? Because yeah. he said he'll bless you. And he can already name almost everything you need to have a wonderful life. Amen. So if I ain't got all this stuff in abundance, because I believe he came to give me life. Yeah. 
walk with me. Boy, I love open door. And back more abundantly. But I think he got maybe too deep for a lot of believers and Christians when he said fully. I need you to fully. Is it in Revelation where he said it's fit you out? I thought about that when I read that. He ain't looking for lukewarm. He ain't looking for an okay Christian. <laughs> Because we all kind of get okay on Sunday morning sometimes, y'all. Ain't what he looking for. He looking for somebody sold out. Sold out. Song said no vacancies. I'm off for the whole Sold out. Walk with me in the spirit. But as I say that, and walking with him, it's those blessings. The promises of God. The promises of God. And I guess maybe he worked with me, took me to do the round in 28 come. In my spirit, I look around, I see the city, I see the children, I see the madness of the world. And as a believer, when you see things and you know they ain't right, part of what you should say is, Lord, what must I do? Hallelujah. What must I do? Because whether you want to accept it or not, we should all want better things for everybody. Yeah, right. This ain't just about ours. Ain't about mine or yours. It's about people. And we as believers, we want everything that he's got. But we don't want to do everything he wants. Well, I, I said out. Like I said, don't worry about nothing because if you can't say amen, just look straight ahead. You ain't even got to say out, y'all lie. But let, let it resonate in you. What are you liking? Because God has promised you that if you do right by him, he's going to do right by you. Amen. I told you, I t this might, like, might not be for a person in this room. Maybe these young people are too young. They might not. They might be doing everything right. Amen. But it might be for their parents. Uh, uh -huh. yeah. But we got to walk this walk. Yeah. Verse 7. Now let me go back to Because it said whatever you do. We need to be doing what's righteous. Amen. Let me make that real plain. Yeah. It says whatever you do. Mm -hmm. But whatever you do constitute, constitute you doing what is righteous. Amen. And what is holy. Amen. It's like Philippians say, Philippians 4 and 13 says, I can do all things who strengthens me. The all things that you're supposed to be doing is what Christ wants you to do. Amen. That's what we forget. A whole lot of preachers don't tell you that when they're telling you about that because it sounds good. But if you ain't doing all things that Christ wants you to be doing through Christ, through Christ, through Christ, through Christ. Through Christ. Through Christ. Through Christ. It ain't, it ain't happening like that. He ain't getting ready to bless you with everything you do if it's opposed to who he is. But we love to hear that. I can do all things. But what you plan on doing? Do you plan on doing it to the glory of God? Because I believe that if you're doing it to the glory of God, you can do all things. Because I always, every time I read that, it hits me. That I can do all things, but he said through Christ. That's right. So that means if I'm going to do it through Christ, Amen. it's going to be righteous. Amen. It's going to be holy. Amen. It's going to be loving. Amen. And then I can do all things. Yeah. But I think most people, when they hear that, they talk about what they want to do. Uh -huh. 
I do all things. All things. He said, Christ ain't walking with you into no grocery store to rob him. Amen. Christ ain't taking you to no bank to rob him. Yes. It's some things you can't do. Some things you can't do. We gotta, we gotta gravitate to what we be saying out of our mouth. Because in the power of our tongue is life and death. Amen. And like I said, God knows everything that we do. Before we do it. So if we talk about we can do all things, but we ain't trying to do it in Him. Something wrong with that picture. Mm -hmm. yep. Something wrong with that picture. Wrong with that picture. I'm like everybody else. I'm guilty too. I like hearing that. I feel power and power when I think about that. I can do all things in Christ. But I got to be doing what Christ would do. Yeah. He ain't acting crazy. He ain't talking crazy. So I got to do it as Christ would do it. See what I'm saying? Yeah. We empower ourselves sometimes with some scriptures that we don't plan on living by. In Christ. That's right. And it said the Lord, the seventh said, the Lord will conquer your enemy when they attack you. Scared of America. Mm -hmm. Walk with me in the spirit. Mm -hmm. The Lord will conquer mm -hmm. your enemies when they attack you. We like that saying that the battle's not mine. It's the, Lord. it's the Lord's. Mm -hmm. Have we given it to them? Mm -hmm. Too many of us fighting our own battles. Yeah. And here this scripture says the Lord will conquer your enemies yeah. when they attack you. It didn't even say nothing about you fighting back. Mm -hmm. You don't need to. Mm -hmm. you got you. Yeah. Did y'all catch that? Mm -hmm. Follow me in the spirit. Mm -hmm. The Lord will conquer your enemies when they attack you. Yes. They will attack you from one direction. Mm -hmm. But they will scatter from you in seven. The Lord got them going. They don't even know where they're going when they're getting ready. When they're trying to get away from you. Woo, the Lord, they start going all kind of way. When the Lord is fighting your battle. It said down that they came in one direction. But when they tried to get away from you, they left in seven different directions. And I, and, and I don't know where, where it is in the scripture. But I know it's in scripture that he said, touch not my mind. Not. Do my prophet no harm. And so I know what y'all sitting there saying then. Because this is what we say when we when we try to get out of it. I'm not a prophet. I'm not anointed. But that assignment is on everybody. The Bible is prophecy. So if you recite what's in this book, you a prophet. Amen. And if you live it, I'm looking here this morning to say you'll be blessed. Amen. Mm. It says, attack you from one direction, but they will scatter from you in seven. Verse 8 says, the Lord will guarantee a blessing on everything you do. There it goes. I read that one again and, and, and I had to think about it. <laughs> it said, if you it says, the Lord will guarantee a blessing on everything you do. Mm -hmm. Oh, Okay. That everything I do has to be everything Christ could do. Amen. Amen. Obey. 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 Obey.
Okay. I told you it took me right back. I kept, the further I got down, the more it took me back to verse 1. That's right. Because there's where the struggle starts for us. That's right. That's what a, that's where the problem starts for us as believers and Christians. It said if you fully obey the Lord, your God. It gets going down and tell you how good it can get for you. That's right. If you keep the mindset that if I do what Christ would have me to do. Amen. Sometimes we don't understand none of our setbacks. Well, but I don't think we look at what we're doing while we're feeling a setback. No. Are we doing what Christ would have me to do? Amen. On Wednesday, we said in, at, at uh, Bible study that we want to look like Christ. Amen. So if he don't, if he's guaranteeing a blessing over everything you do, and thank you, Holy Ghost, because God only guaranteed one person, and that's Christ. Amen. So we have to be doing what Christ would do. So, and as, as I read it, because at first, like I said, it's, it seems like when you're reading it to yourself and you don't get in the spirit, it's all too hard to do. And and, and you don't see none of this taking place because, like I said, he's, he basically blessed everything in your life. But we serve a God that can do exactly that. He can bless everything, everything. in your life. Thank you, That's why he told them, once you put your hands to the plow, mm -hmm. yeah. Ooh, don't take it off. Yeah. And don't turn, come on. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. He got a blessing in doing what he say do. Yeah. Yeah. He got a blessing for you. That guaranteed everything you do. And will fill your storehouse with grain. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mm. Thank you. The Lord your God will bless you in the land he's giving you. Yeah. Whatever he has. Yeah, yeah. Whatever he's giving you. Yeah. If you're right, he'll bless you right where you are. I'm a firm believer that the house I live in mm -hmm. ain't my house. Amen. Amen. I'm a firm believer in that the car I drive mm -hmm. ain't my car. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I like God things. Amen. And it says, the storehouse was grand. The Lord your God will bless you in the land he's given you. And believe me, if he don't give it to you, you won't have it. Or if you do have it, it won't be blessed. Because we have a tendency to look at the people that's getting stuff like they shouldn't be getting it, but they're getting it. Mm -hmm. That ain't blessed stuff. Sure enough. I heard you, Pastor. But not your heart after evil do. Don't worry about the man. The man got the name getting it right. Don't worry about it. Put yourself in a position that you can get it. Because it's a funny thing about the God we serve too. Once he gives it to you, he won't take it back. If you keep walking right. He ain't. He ain't an Indian giver. And it's a comedian that always said, I don't know no Indians no way. Yeah. But God is that kind of God that when he blesses, blesses you, he's not blessing you to come back and get it. Mm -hmm. And if it goes away, check yourself. That's right. There yeah. you go. Yeah. Check yourself. There you go. I'm, I'm, I'm growing. I'm still growing. Thank God. 
So some things ain't right, I try to figure out what I ain't doing right mm -hmm. instead of why it ain't right. Mm -hmm. But we put too much pressure on having an answer when we already been told to mm -hmm. not lean to our own understanding. Mm -hmm. All right. The word of God keeps working with you. Yes, um, keeps working with you. Uh, it said, it said your storehouse, the Lord will give you, bless you in the land he's given you. Yeah. Now it says, if you obey the commands of the Lord, your mm -hmm. God, and walk in his way, the Lord will establish you as his holy people. That blew me away too. It says, if you obey the commands of the Lord, your God, and walk in his way, mm -hmm. the Lord will establish you as holy people. His holy people. His yes, holy people. Yes. Mm -hmm. That made me go back to and it said, only the righteous. I want to be his holy people. Because only the righteous will see the kingdom of heaven. Amen. I told you it's more than this walk than we might want to do. But if we're going to do it, we better do it fully. Hallelujah. Amen. And believe me, he's the all-knowing God. He know, he know we're going to have some shortcomings, some lack. We, it's some things that we might not be able to do. If we don't have the sense to go back to it and call on him for it. Because he, when he was making this request, he already knew this. When he made this request to do the rhyming to the Israelites, they hadn't become as dumb as they was going to become. <laughs> but he would already laid out a plan for them. That's what I want you to focus on this morning. Too. It's a plan that can keep you from being dumb. <laughs> Follow his command. Amen. And, and, and the world the world tells us that's easier done than say. No, it ain't. Because obedience is better than sacrifice. And, and you might not feel that in your spirit yet, but keep on living. Doing what is right is better than doing what's wrong. Amen. As simple as that. Let me make it real plain so the kids can get it. Doing right is better than doing wrong. Amen. You have less to worry about. Yeah. You have fewer woe is me Amen. conversations. Because you know how we go in the woe is me. Whoa. <laughs> yes, that ain't right. What was you doing yesterday? Was it right? We got to focus on ourselves first. Because God has a blessing Hallelujah. with your name on it. Yeah, yeah, Hallelujah. It's his promise. Yeah. It's his promise. If you do what you're supposed to do. It says, uh, it steps you in as his holy people. As he swore he would do. Mm -hmm. We know that he's a man that cannot lie. If you walk up right before me, I'll bless you. Amen. If you feel like you're lacking, mm -hmm. get better. Because Amen. 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 he said, I will withhold nothing from you. He said he's our provider. Yes. Yes. There's some things that we should start focusing on as people of God. That he swore he would do. Then 10 said, then all the nations of the world will see that you are people claimed by the law. As Americans, as believers, we got to get people seeing that's who we are. Mm -hmm. As Kansas City is. That's who people need to see us being. God's people. 
but they're not going to see that that ain't how we live in it. It said, then all the nations of the world will see that you are a people claimed by the law. And they will stand in awe of you. Hmm. And you know we good for saying, oh, they look like they blessed us. Let it be being blessed of the Lord. Amen. That's how you want to be blessed. Amen. Of the Lord. Mm -hmm. It says the Lord will give you prosperity in the land he swore to your ancestors to give you. See, these is already promises God didn't make. Amen. And he will keep them. He's going to give to you. Yes. Blessing you with many children. All right. And that's all right. Amen. Because yes. children are a blessing. Yes. They are. We did, I mean, it's harder to take care of now in the world we live in. But actually it's not. There you go. See, that's what I had, it grabbed up me too. First I said, oh, no, it's too, well, I can't take in a whole bunch of kids. But actually, what well, talk about all the kids that I give birth to. Walk with me in the spirit. We're responsible for our children. Well, And believe me, I know if you're looking up now and saying, what is he talking about? The ones I got is enough problem. Take care of them. Because they're a blessing. They're a blessing. And we have the moments when they don't seem like that, but they are truly a blessing. They are a blessing. Because he said the Lord will give you prosperity in the land he swore to your ancestors to give you. It's some things you got coming. That all you got to do is line up. Hallelujah. And we don't see that. Yes. But, but I guess you got to be the guy in that book a little bit. Mm. It's some stuff I got coming. I ain't mm. got yet. Mm. If I line up with the word of God. Hallelujah. Mm. It's some blessing that I won't be able to thank nobody for. But God. But God. Amen. And it, it ain't not, and it's not, it's not gonna be anything but God mm. being God. Yes, Lord. There's some things gonna happen in your life that you won't be able to think on anything but God. But God. Hallelujah. But God. Hallelujah. For me personally, mm -hmm. I guess as I get older, when I wake up in the morning, mm -hmm. that's my time. Hallelujah. I'm thanking God on it. Because yes. yes. I understand that every day, every day. is a day from God. Amen. Amen. And I, you know, and I, and I and I can look back to when I was in my twenties and thirties. People, we can look back. The younger we were, we didn't wake up with those thoughts. Mm -hmm. But boy, keep living. Keep living. Hallelujah. Keep living. Them days get important. You like waking up in the morning. We living in a world where a whole lot of people ain't waking up. We live in a town where people going to funerals so often. They, if people attend the funeral like they attend the church. There you go. Watch out now. The churches will be full. I know more people going to funerals than they are going to church. Mm -hmm. Oh, I've got another one this week, brother. Mm -hmm. Did you tell me, bro? Could you stop by open door mm -hmm. on Sunday? Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Maybe we can cut down on mm -hmm. some of the funerals we're going to. Because mm -hmm. whether you realize it or not, you become a blessing to the good, Amen. to people. Amen. You become.
become a blessing. God will take care of your friends. Amen. Amen. He's, he's not just going to do for a high your blessing. I thought you said something about your blessing. He'll bless your friend. Bless old cousin. Old nephew, old niece. He'll bless the people. Thank you, Lord. If you're doing what you're supposed to be doing. Thank you, Jesus. He'll hold them, maybe, because they want to do it for themselves. Y'all understand what I'm saying this morning? You can keep some people. Do they ready? If you do what you're supposed to be doing. Because it says the prayers, the fervent prayers of the righteous prevail as much. So if you're doing what you know to do, and as a believer, I know the prayer. I know the trust in his word. So I'm going to pray for everybody. I'm not saying that everybody calls. Help me, Holy Ghost. Because uh, sometimes we pray in the opposite of what people are praying for themselves. Well, that's true. Mm-hmm. I always had a problem with that. Because I'm praying for Lulu to get saved. Amen. Hallelujah. All Lulu was praying for Lulu to get rich. Mm-hmm. Lulu ain't interested in being saved. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then so then I understand that yeah. the God we serve, and see that's why I get back to verse one again, mm-hmm. where it says fully obey. Fully yeah. obey. So God ain't making no choices for it. Come on. You're right. Come on. That's one thing I'm not so learned, Pastor. We don't get to blame nobody, nobody oh, come on. for our mess. Amen. No. That's right. Come on. Okay. He had to tell Adam that. There you come go. On. There you come go. Come on, okay, boy, you can't put that on paraphrasing. Yeah. <laughs> oh, boy, you can't put that on him. Right. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, I left you in charge. Yeah. Yes. 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 So it's a whole lot of our mess we can't put on nobody else. Yeah, right. yeah. We don't get to say that child you gave me. Come on. That woman you gave. Me. Well, Adam sure was passing the buck. Yes, sure but God ain't that kind of guy. No, it's not. She did too. Yeah, right. She did. She put it on the serpent. Okay? Right. And I guess if you're going to blame anybody, blame the devil better than blame God. Right. Right. I'm, I'm just saying, I'm, you're going to put it on, you're gonna put it on somebody. <laughs> Maybe blaming the devil might get you a little further. Yeah. But you got to make your own choice. Yeah. Yeah. Bottom line is still going to be you. Amen. And I'm talking about blessings this morning. My bottom line to me getting blessed mm-hmm. don't depend on you. Amen. It depends on me. Come on, sir. You know, as as siblings, sometimes we get whooping when we was younger, and we'd do something to get in trouble. And you know, oh, 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 man, old school parents (laughs) trip. They walk in the house and things all raggedy. They be saying, they don't even ask who did it. Thank you. Everybody gonna get a whoop. Yeah. <laughs> Excuse me, I know my English ain't all that good. Everybody gonna get a whoop. Yeah. Wasn't no choice. No. You know, you didn't get to snitch. If you was the, even if you was the snitch, it didn't do you no good. Uh-huh. My daddy didn't look at you funny if you wanted to be the snitch. Yeah, what you doing? And God's the same way. So you ain't got to worry about snitching on nobody. God already knows. Pray about somebody. You ain't got to snitch on nobody. God sees everything already. You want to be blessed, want to see somebody blessed? Pray. Pray. Pray for them. We get caught up in 
all the other wrong things. He said, the Lord will give you prosperity in the land he swore to your ancestors mm -hmm. to give to you. Mm -hmm. God going to keep his word. Mm -hmm. Blessing you with many children, numerous livestock, and abundant crop. Mm -hmm. Come on. That sounds like that abundant life, don't it? Mm -hmm. Amen. And Jesus came to give us life. Yes, he did. And back yes, more abundant. Yes, thank, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. It says the Lord will send rain Come on. at the proper time mm -hmm. from his rich treasury in heaven. Yeah. And, and it's kind of funny because I was thinking about last week when the weatherman was talking about how dry it is and don't do this because you might start a fire. Mm -hmm. yeah. God sent us a little rain. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. We needed a little rain. At the proper time. It says blessing your children. Uh, it says send rain at the proper time mm -hmm. from his rich treasury in heaven yes. and will bless all the work you do. Help me, hope God. Amen. Don't get that twisted. It said all the work you do. Mm -hmm. yeah. But the work you do you gotta work. got to be in Christ. See, that's what you got to be careful. Help me, Holy Ghost. So you can get caught up and say, well, he said anything I do, the work I do is the Christ, is the work Amen. you do. Is the, we go back to I can do all things. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So if you're going to bless the work you're doing, the work you do got to be looking a little like Christ. 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 Walk with me in the spirit. I ain't asking you to be fleshly right now. Mm -hmm. if, you're the, if you're in the flesh, you're going to miss this blessing. Mm -hmm. Walk with me in the spirit. Hallelujah. The more I try to look like Christ, mm -hmm. the better life I'm going to have. Come on, man. Amen. And believe me, Start teaching your kids that because it says the kids are even known by, by what, what they, they do. do. Come on. Yes, Lord. People had a bad habit uh, saying, well, they so young. Hmm. Yeah. If they bad, I know they bad. Raise them up right. Train them up right. Amen. Amen. the way they should go. Hmm. Thank you. The way they should go. When they old, they will not depart. But if they do take a break, they'll come back. I believe God's word. I done seen too many do exactly that. They done came back. Hallelujah. Because they was trained up right. Yeah. Think about the simplicity there. That's all God is asking you to do. He ain't asking you to be responsible for them, little, for them, for them young ladies. Now, they ain't little girls. They start to be young ladies. He ain't asking you to be responsible for them for the rest of their life. Because at some point, they on their own. But he, he does want you to train them up, right? Amen. Same way with them young boys. He ain't asking you. He know you ain't. I tell young people all the time, people going to cry about how they was raised. Or my daddy wasn't here. My mama didn't do this. Okay, you 27 years old. Right about that. Uh -huh. They ain't got nothing to do with who you are now. Uh -huh. Don't miss your blessing trying to blame other people for how you live either. Amen. Don't miss your blessing trying to pass the buck uh -huh. to somebody else. But we good for that too. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, I wouldn't have messed up if it wasn't for them. Mm -hmm. You pick your friends. You pick your own mm -hmm. You make your choice. Mm -hmm. Do you choose to be blessed? It's another part. What is that? Deuteronomy 30, maybe, or 20, 27, this day. Yeah. Choose life or death. Mm -hmm. It's always been on us. That's right. He laid it out before us, but it's always going to still be on us to do what is right, mm -hmm. to do what is holy. 
It says the Lord will send rain at the proper time in his rich treasury in heaven and will bless all the work you do. You will lend to many nations, but you will never need to borrow from them. Lord have mercy. Boy, that's, I don't know. I don't know about some of y'all, but that sounded so good to me. Amen. That I won't have to borrow. Amen. One of my blessings is I can get, if I can do this right, it says the Lord will, it said you will lend to many nations. But you will never need to borrow from them. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Mm, mm, mm. Thank you, Lord. It says, and then 13 says, if you listen to these commands mm -hmm. of the Lord, your God, mm -hmm. that I'm giving you today, yeah. Yeah. and, I like that, and if you carefully obey them, the Lord will make you the head and not the tail. And we say that in this house every Sunday. Every Sunday. How many of y'all really believe that? Amen. I am the head yeah. and not the tail. Above, above all, above all. Not, not believe. And it ain't because of me. No. Mm. It's from the blessing of the Lord. Oh, Jesus. Thank you. It says, if you listen to these commands of Lord your God that I've given you today, and if you carefully obey them, the Lord will make you the head and not the tail. Yeah. And you will always, 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 always stay on top. Be on top. Yeah. Yeah. Never. Never. At the bottom. Yeah. Thank you, Father. I believe the word of God. Hallelujah. I can honestly say I truly believe the word of God. And right there saying if I carefully, if I carefully do what I pose to do concerning the word of God, I'm going to be on top. And it, be, and it depends on how you want to look at on top. Of. It ain't necessarily on top means living for Christ. Don't get to it. It don't mean that there you're going to be no millionaire. But you're going to be on top. Hallelujah. And not, it said not to buy. Hallelujah. In other words, you're going to always have more than enough. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise Think the Lord. about that. Yes. If you God. just start trying to line up. Glory to God. Cause, but, it, cause, but it takes some effort from us. Yeah. We got all these blessings that he said he's going to do for us. Mm -hmm. But we got to line up to give. Line up. Yeah. Let children be obedient. Mm -hmm. Obey your parents. Mm -hmm. Think about all the rough times you had, though, that are not the children right now. Mm -hmm. That every time you get something you really wasn't supposed to do, it kind of costs you. Right. Obedience is better than sacrifice. Right. We don't like to hear that. You know, we don't think about that either. You go out and do something wrong. And then when you get caught and the punishment come, you be like, huh? It was coming. So is a man's soul. So shall he reap. So if you hear how he'll bless you, mm -hmm. how you gonna suffer in the righteousness, in the holiness? That's how. Keep my commandments. Do what you're supposed to do. It says the Lord will make you the head and not the tail, and you'll always be on top and never at the bottom. All right, y'all, we got up out of here. It says you must not turn away from any of the commands I'm giving you today, nor follow after other gods and worship. So as I prepare to take my seat, 
I just want to let y'all know. Don't make nothing else your God. Amen. But God. But God. But God. Don't let money become your God. Amen. Don't let no person become your God. Amen. Don't let no need become your God. Yes. Let God be God. And all the other things that he said, he'll do. He'll do. Amen. You got to make a conscious effort. We ain't talking, I mean, and like I said, I ain't, it ain't like he's a perfect man or anything in the world like that, maybe. But God wants us to be making a conscious effort. Amen. Don't ever get it twisted. He is a God of perfection. Even though we will not never probably be perfect, we do serve a perfect God. Yeah. And his expectations of yeah. us yeah. is that we seek to be perfect. Yeah. I don't even like to hear kids say, uh, I got to see. That ain't nothing. You didn't want to A? Right, right. You want to be the best yeah. you can be. Yeah. But when you're being the best you can yeah. be and it's righteous and holy, it's to his glory. Yeah. And the Bible tells me that everything I do, do unto the glory of God. Yeah. So anything I do, I want to be the best now. And that's what we got to do, y'all, so we won't miss any blessings. Carefully Think about it and then obey. Amen. If you do this, you'll be blessed. Y'all be blessed. Amen. Stay encouraged. And it's always a pleasure to see all of my young friends. Amen. 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 Seek my face. God said, Seek his face. Not his hand, seek his face. Turn from your wicked way. That means repent. Mm -hmm. He said, I will hear from heaven. I will forgive your sins and I will heal the land. The land. Come on. He'll heal these earthen vessels. He'll heal this broken land that we live in. So we thank God for the word on the day from Deuteronomy 28. But he's, as he was talking, he was talking to his people, mm -hmm. my people. He said, my people, my, my chosen people. We didn't choose him, but he chose us. Amen. Amen. And if, we, if we were to reciprocate, amen, then Romans chapter 10, verse 9 and 10 says, all we need to do mm -hmm. is confess with our mouth mm -hmm. that Jesus is Lord and believe in our heart that his father, our God, did raise him from the dead. Yes. That we shall be saved. We will be his people. We can inherit all the promises that we heard on the day. Amen. But it goes to a simple confession of faith. Mm -hmm. And then he said that all scripture is given by inspiration of God. Come on. And it is profitable. Yeah, the Lord. words you heard on today for doctrine, reproof, correction, for instruction and in righteousness, that the man of God can be perfect. Come on, yeah. come on. Yeah. Thoroughly furnished. Unto all good works. Yeah. And God didn't make it all. He said his commandments are not grateful. He just go back to the confession of faith. So if you believe the report that you heard in this house on the day, that all you have to do is this, and this is fully obey. Come on. The word of God. Yes, Lord. Then let us pray. A prayer of 
faith that says, Father God, Father God, I know who your son is. I know who your son is. His name is Jesus. His name is Jesus. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. You are the Lord of my life. You are the Lord of my life. Forgive me for my sins. Forgive me for my sins. I believe that you were born. I believe that you were born. I believe that you died for my sins. I believe that you died for my sins. I believe that your blood covers my sins. I believe that your blood covers my sins. And I believe you got up from the grave. And I believe you got up from the grave. With all power in your hand. <coughs> all power in your hand. I ask you to come into my heart. I ask you to come into my heart. Come into my mind. Come into my mind. Come into my soul. Come into my soul. Come into my spirit. Come into my spirit. And live your life through me. And live your life through me. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. For coming into my heart. For coming into my heart. In your precious name, Jesus, I pray. In your precious name, Jesus, I pray. Let every heart declare. Amen. 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 Who is in you now? Hallelujah. Who is in the world? Therefore, you can fully obey. Come on. Through Christ, which strengthens you to do that. Hallelujah. So thank God. Amen. Thank God. He is a very present help in your life. Amen. Yes, Lord. He will cause you to fully prosper. Amen. And bless all that you do wherever you happen to go, wherever you happen to be. He Come said on. He's right there with you, but He will never leave you nor forsake you. And He is a very present help. Mm -hmm. In the time of trouble, in the time of need. Hallelujah. So thank God. Amen. For each and every one. Amen. Under the sound of the word on today and those that will even hear it in the future. Praise God. Amen. Amen. God said he sent his word that you would prosper. So we thank God that we know he wants us to prosper. Come on. He wants to bless all that yes, we do. Lord. Amen. And all we have to do is this. Mm -hmm. Fully obey. Amen. Yes, Lord. To the best of our ability, if you find yourself in error, he said, all you have to do is confess. Come on. He said, confess your sin. Mm -hmm. Confess your fault. He's faithful and just to forgive you and cleanse you from all unrighteousness. God can't wait to put you back in right standing with him. Get you back on that street called straight. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. And we thank God for each and every one of the sound of our voice. If anybody prayed that prayer for the first time, we thank God. Amen. To know that you're saved for those that have yet to do it in the future. Amen. But we thank God, amen. We also understand that one of the first acts of obedience after we are saved is to be baptized. Amen. amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, may we do it all in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. So if God put something in your spirit, amen, that you need to be baptized, we also want you to know that the door to baptism is open here at Open Door Ministry where Jesus is the door. Praise God. Praise God. I see a few people look like they might be sharing. Lord, said the same thing as somebody Turn the air down a little bit. I think the air is on. But again, we're still, we're still trying to freeze out anything that's not like God. Amen. <laughs> Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. So, again, we do thank God for each and every one. Amen. Yes, again, Lord. God said it's, it's not going to be hard to do. Praise God. Praise He's God. He's going to be right there with you to see to it that you can. Amen. Come on. Again, that's something else that we confess each and every week now and then. We're able to keep you. Amen. Come on. And the Bible said that he had begun this good work in you is going to perform on the day of life. So that's why Reverend John said it's a blessing and pressing. Mm -hmm. Forget what's behind and look forward to what lies ahead and continue to press toward the mark. Yes. Continue to press toward the pride. Continue to press toward the high calling of God. And he is calling each and every one of us higher and higher in Christ Jesus. Amen. 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 Confident that he that is doing this good work in you is going to continue until the day of Christ. Yes, Hallelujah. Lord. Hallelujah. Well, you got a hand clap in your own day. We do thank God for you. We thank God for each and every one that pressed their way. Amen. 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 I, we just can't overemphasize the blessing and our pressing. Amen. So as we look around, we thank God for each and every one. We always thank God for the young people. We recognize that they are the future. Yes, Lord. We recognize our duty to train them up in the way that they should go. And the Bible did say that the children are heritage of the Lord. A blessing of the Lord. Amen. Yes, Lord. Blessing is the one that has a quiver full of them. Amen. Amen. And the scripture said when we train them up, they will speak with the enemy at the gate. Come, Come on. on. Amen. 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 Praise God. Praise That's God. That's another cause for a hand clap. Amen. 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 They will come when your children will speak at the 
as we train them up. Amen. Amen. So we do wonderful prayer for the giving and receiving of our tithes and of our offerings. And we know no matter how hard we try, we can't be God given. But this is just another happy time in the church for me. Amen. When it's time to give and, and we confess the word of God. Amen. Because we do believe in confessing God's word. Amen. And we know God said he will hasten his word to perform it. Yeah, Amen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We recognize Jesus is the word. Amen. Amen. The Bible says his name is called the word of God. Uh, Hallelujah. Uh, Amen. Uh, Reverend Johnson even reminded us that as a man sows, then shall he also reap. Amen. And the scripture said, when we sow sparingly, we reap sparingly, we sow bountifully, we reap bountifully. But the scripture said, let each man give his purpose in his own heart. That means that's between you and God. Come Amen. on. But the main thing is that God loves us. Uh, Cheerful a giver. cheerful giver. Amen. Amen. So let us not give grudgingly. Amen. Let us keep the same joy that we had. Amen. Come on. Amen. Praise God. Recognize the joy of the Lord is our strength. Amen. Praise God. That's Nehemiah 8 and 10. And fruit of the Spirit in Galatians 5 and 22 is love and then joy. Amen. Hallelujah. And that gives you the peace that passes all understanding. Praise God. For we know that God's ways are not our ways and his thoughts are not our thoughts. For the highs of heavens are above the earth. Amen. So higher God's ways above our ways. So he sends his word to water us, mm -hmm. to replenish us, that Amen. we might spring forth and bud. Praise God. Praise Amen. God. Hallelujah. God said that you might prosper, even as your soul prospers. So we're going to ask God right now as we prepare for the giving and receiving of our tithes and of our offerings. And we recognize that there's some to get right here in the sanctuary, amen, to open door ministries, amen, if you've got a check or whatever, a cash, and we ask asking God to bless whatever we do, 30, 60, even a hundredfold, and Reverend Johnson, we're talking about Abraham, he commanded a thousandfold blessing on Abraham, so we want to pray an Abraham blessing over our offering on amen. today, praise God, praise God, hallelujah, in the name of Jesus, amen, there's some to get through cash out. Uh, ODM donations on Cash App. Venmo is open underscore door underscore ministry. Amen. And God has given us all these different ways that we can give. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 The Lord said the same. If we prepare, then we're going to confess our <coughs> blessing. Amen. And Reverend God's reminded us that we, that we confess the word every week. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Do we have any cheerful givers in the house? Amen. Amen. And I ask that you repeat after me. Because I am a cheerful giver. Because I am a cheerful giver. And God is faithful to his word. And God is faithful to his word. There is meat in God's house. There is meat in God's house. Because I am a cheerful giver. Because I am a cheerful giver. And God is faithful to his word. And God is faithful to his word. He rebukes the devourer for my sake. He rebukes the devourer for my I say. Because I am a cheerful giver. Because I am a cheerful giver. And God is faithful to his word. And God is faithful to his word. He opens up the windows of heaven. He opens up the windows of heaven. And pours out blessings on me. And pours out blessings on me. There shall not be room enough to receive. There shall not be room enough to receive. Because I am a cheerful giver. Because I am a cheerful giver. And God is faithful to his word. And God is faithful to his word. All the people of this world come Call me blessed. All the people of this world call me blessed. I'm blessed coming in. I'm blessed coming in. And I'm blessed coming out. And I'm blessed coming out. I am the head. I am the head. And not the tail. And not the tail. Above only. Above only. And not beneath. And not beneath. I'm not in poverty. I'm not in poverty. I am in prosperity. I am in prosperity. My abundance is a supply. My abundance is a supply. To those who are in life. To those who are in life. I have more than enough. I have more than enough. All of my needs are met. All of my needs are met. All of my bills are paid. All of my bills are paid. I owe no man anything. I owe no man anything. Except to love him. Except to love him. Jesus has come. Jesus has come. To give me this kind of life. To give me this kind of life. And that more abundantly. And that more abundantly. The Lord is my shepherd. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. I shall not want. I prosper in everything I do. I prosper in everything I do. If you believe it, go ahead and shout hallelujah. 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 Amen. 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 Praise God. Praise God. ODM donations. ODM. Capital O, capital B, capital M. 
space, capital D, donation, ODM donation. God bless you. God bless you, each and every one. Amen. Again, we thank God for those that are uh, giving uh, check, cash, money order, uh, electronically. That's what it's called. We give electronically. Amen. These are ways that God has blessed us to be able to give. Amen. Amen. So again, we do thank God. Amen. That's those that literally cannot get out and come to church. Amen. Amen. And, and we found out during the pandemic that some knew before the pandemic. Amen. That, that we could go Facebook Live or Maybe the Lord said the same one day we have somebody over there getting us going on YouTube live. Amen. And right now we load the, the message up to YouTube at a later date. Amen. But we do thank God because the word still does not change. It's still out there. And by all means, we're here to try to get the word out. Amen. Amen. So by all means, save some. Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. God wants all men to be saved and God wants to use you. Amen. Come on. Come he on. He wants to use you right where right you are. Where Amen. He said he's going to bless you. Wherever you go, amen. Come on, come on. And we know it's easy to go amongst the saved, amen. But sometimes he'll send you among those that are not saved, amen. Yes, Lord. That you might by all means save some. Praise God. Praise God. As you allow your light to shine in the midst of a crooked and perverse nation, mm -hmm. amen. And crooked and perverse generation. But we know that the word tells us that straight is the gate and narrow is the way. Amen. And few there be that find it. So you will find yourself surrounded by a lot of non-believers, but know that God is with you. Amen. Amen. It's like he pulled me out of darkness into his marvelous light. Maybe he can use you to save somebody else. Amen. Amen. And thank God for his grace, his amazing grace that did save the rest like me. Right Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. God to bless the gifts as well as the giver, 30, 60, 100, even 1,000 fold. That will be used for the development, the uplift of God's kingdom. And we thank God right now as we do this in full obedience to the word of God. Yes, Lord. We thank you right now. Father God, bless the gift and the gift. Yes, yes. you see, sir. In Jesus' name, let us all say Amen. 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 Praise God. Praise, Praise God. God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is the Lord doing as we look around the sanctuary on today. It's yeah. the Lord doing as marvelous in our eyes. And again, Reverend Johnson will come up to close us out. But again, we do thank God for each and every one of you pressing the world away. Amen. Praise God. We're still thanking God for March birthdays. Amen. If we have any more March birthdays, we have the same happy birthday too. Amen. No, Sister Brittany's birthday was coming up last week and we sang to her and, and nay, nay, amen. But we thank God for each and every one. Amen. Praise God. We know that some of us have been on spring break, some are on spring break. But we pray God's hedge of protection over our young people each and every day. Amen. Yes, we Lord. Just wait till spring break when school's out for we recognize that you are the future. So we continually, day by day, pray God's hedge of protection around you, his hands on you, and his angels surrounding you. And not only you, but all of us. Praise yes, God. Yes, yes. Yeah, praise God. Praise God. Amen. And if God is for us, who can be against us? Who can be against us? Praise God. Praise Amen. God. The Lord says the same. Amen. We'll bring Reverend Johnson back up to close us out. We're going to ask God to bless the uh, food and the fellowship bar for the nourishment of our bodies and everyone that partakes. Amen. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Church, say one more time. Amen. 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 Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. John, we thank God. Amen. Yes, that you Lord. stopped by on today to, to, to share with us. Amen. And Lord says, say, if you want to say anything, you're welcome to. We thank God for your smile. We thank God for your presence. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And again, we, we do. We thank God for each and every one of you. But we want to acknowledge Brother John because God told us that he would have his people that would stop by. Amen. Amen. That's why the door <coughs> is, is open. open. Amen. Amen. And Jesus said, I am Damn that the door. door. Hallelujah. Yeah. So when I see you, we thank God. We see that he's still in the blessing business. Amen. Amen. And we know that that's what he does. That's his nature. We saw that in the word on today. God's nature is to bless you. Bless Praise you. God. Praise God. God. Especially when you do. I, I was hoping I'd get one witness to say yeah. fully obedient. Fully obedient. Is that what the word was? Just do yeah. this. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Be fully obedient. Yeah. Do the best yeah. you can. Yeah. To do the best yeah. you can. Yeah. Amen. Give God your best. Yeah, yeah. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. Amen. And watch.
God shall bless you. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Your, your best service, your best whatever you can do. Be on your best behavior. Amen. Just always do your best and watch God bless. Amen. Hallelujah. Always do your best. Hallelujah. Tell your neighbor, always do your best. Always do your best. And watch God bless. And watch God bless. Amen. Won't he do it? Yeah. Didn't he do it? Yeah. Hasn't he done it? Yes. Yeah. And the best is still yet to come. I have not seen. And he is at my heart. Come on, Rev. Amen. God bless you. Love y'all. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Amen. Well, thank each and every one of y'all for coming out. And if we go into this upcoming week, I pray to God's blessings on each and every one of you. May your week be full of love, joy, and peace. And this we are asking in the name of Jesus. Now unto him who is able to keep you from falling and present you as fathers before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy to the only wise God our Savior, be glory and majesty, dominion and power, both now and forever. Amen. Amen. Be blessed and go in peace. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Amen. We love you. Amen. 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 Amen.